before and beyond if you don't learn how to stop auditioning for these men. So I'm going to give you some really quick tips to learn how to do that. And I am going to give you a little explanation because there is an animated character from Toonami. I don't know who it was. It's like an animated character from Toonami Jetstream. If you ever watched Cartoon Network when I was younger, it was like Toonami Jetstream. There was like this superhero guy that comes on that had like this cape and stuff. And there was another character that comes on and it had like black hair and it had like this little weedle pick. And it was like, she reminded me of that character. I wish I, I, wish I could find it and show y'all. She looked just like that character. It's crazy. It's crazy. Because I talk too much. What's up? Number one, stop leading with your good foot first. Now, I done made a thousand videos on this. So I need to start leading with your toxic foot first. Lead with your demanding foot. Lead with your toxic foot, okay? Lead with your selfish foot. Because of the way we're socialized in the world, there are just naturally more good women in the world than there are good men. It's implied that you're a good woman. You don't have to tell him nothing about you for him to already have that in his mind. Be mindful of femininity culture. Okay, let me explain. I think there's two different types of femininity culture. I think there's the Shira 7 femininity culture where she's trying to teach women how to get men to do what they want, um, which I also think is kind of more in line with my brand of dating culture. Um, and I think that's great. But I see some videos and I don't want to call anybody out, but it's like their femininity culture advice videos is like how to keep a man. There is no trick, there is no secret, there is no tip to keeping a man. The only way you could keep a man is if he wants to be kept. And that's just that's just what it is. Like there's nothing you could do. It's easier for women, it's easier for men to be kept than women to be kept. Numbers show it, everything show it, time show it. It's easier to keep a man than to keep a woman. All the stats show it. Kill the urge to bring up any domestic skills you have. I am begging you. Okay, you guys, I do so many hinge profiles and the amount of hinge profiles I see where women are bragging about how good cooks they are or like people who are like cleaning brings me peace. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoy laundry. It does bring me peace. I would never tell a man that. Up front. Never. Why? Because of the way we're socialized, men are already assuming you're going to cook and clean for them in the relationship. Don't further advertise yourself as free labor. Number four, it's a date, not a job interview. Don't try to impress them. So let's get into that because I feel like that's two parts. That's my bad. Okay. It's a date. It's not a job interview. See, in a job interview, you can go in and put a mask on and present as, you know, a certain version of yourself. And that's great because you're only going to see those people every so often. And the expectation is you only need to show up as that certain mask of yourself. But the point of a date is to get a relationship, right? Whatever form of relationship you're looking for at that time, but it is to be in relationship with somebody else. And you cannot wear a mask the entire time that you are in relationship with somebody else. That's not healthy. Stop with the auditioning process. And then also part two of that, what is it? Don't try to impress them. If you are just being yourself and that is not impressive enough, on to the next one. Number five, get you some business. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna say one more time. Get you some business. I always see videos about like, oh, you don't want a man to think you're too available. So take a little while to text him back or, you know, don't, don't, always be available when he wants to go on a date and stuff like that. I agree with the idea that you should not be too available for a man, but I do not agree with the idea that you should be pretending to be unavailable. Actually have something else going on in your life. Um, get some hobbies, get some new friends. Hobbies and new friends aren't going to fill the void of a romantic relationship, but that's not the point of those things. Those things are for you to have fulfillment in as many areas of your life as you possibly can so that there is less pressure or for you to be auditioning for these men as you wait to find a man or a romantic partnership to fulfill you in the romantic partnership area. I hope this was helpful. If it wasn't, that's on me. Let me know. <laughs> I feel like that's too meaning brings me peace. Okay, you guys, there's nothing. You can keep a man's kind of more and she's trying about you. They were socials. Lead with that. And I am going to give you a little explanation because I to think you're too available. So take a look. But I do not agree with the idea. I wish I could see this, the, all the stuff, but... um. I was going to say it's funny. It's like, like women have to understand this. When a woman that we don't find attractive, like a lot of guys don't find attractive, is out here trying to humble us and tell us that, you know, don't lead with this. Don't do this for this guy. Don't do this and stuff like that. I, I'm always talking about not selling, but it's like you're not wanted in a dating marketplace. 
you are not the woman that we will out here actually try to do anything for. So it's like it's like a broke man having standards. It does not make sense. It does not make sense. He's not something you advertise in the dating marketplace, just like you don't advertise an unattractive woman with standards. Because if you're sitting there and we're because we have the eye test, we're looking at her and guys, we like physical appearance. So it's like she don't got to be the baddest thing, but she got to be decent. Like you could be like, okay, she's decent. You know, I can understand she's decent looking. But when you're not and here's the thing, here's the funny thing. This is the best she could look. She got makeup on. This woman have makeup on. You can literally see the makeup on her face. This is the best she can look. So when that makeup come off, it gets worse. So this is the best she could look. That's the craziest part about this. So when you're advertising yourself and you're saying all this and you're telling guys, maybe you guys don't meet this and I'm not going to do this for women don't do this and stuff. We're like, why are you speaking about this? Because, again, you are not the type of woman any of us will sit here and pursue. So it blows us. It's like if we it's like a broke man being on stage saying that, yeah, I'm a leader. I'm a man on my purpose. I got this going on. But you have a job. No, you have a car. No, where you stay. I stay outside. You stay outside. Yeah, I live in the curve like like over there next to the street, next to the highway. You're homeless. Yeah, I'm homeless. Is that a problem? And you have standards for women. Yes, I have standards for women. Should I not have standards? Should I can't date because I'm homeless. You're a homeless man. Yes, I'm a homeless man. And you have standards. Yes. I want my woman a certain type of way. Where are you going to take your home into the street? Yes, you're going to be out there. We're going to be both outside. That's how it looks to us when an unattractive woman sit here and at, w- speak about all these things. And we're like, you're not the type of woman that could leverage that. If you're on stage and you're talking and you're saying, how many? We don't want to hear it. Get off the stage. Get off the stage. Because, again, you have to stand it. You have to be the type of woman. Especially his thing. She's not even humble about it. She believe she's top tier women. She's not a, a regular dead woman. She's a top tier woman. Oh, I'm gonna be this. The guy gonna have to do this for me. The guy gonna do this for me. No, we have to understand where our dating market value is. If we sit here and just say brokies and these guys can't speak unattractive women, y'all can't sit here and leverage it. You can't sit here and try to tell us that we're not, we know we're not accepting it because when you speak about it, it's like a broke man speaking about it. Women are not listening. We men are not listening either. We look at it like, come on, you got to, you got to humble yourself. It's not because you're a black woman, it's just because you're not that woman. The appearance don't match up with the standards and we have to be realistic. The appearance don't match up with the standards. And we have to be realistic about that. And if you're not going to be, you know, authentic about yourself, because clearly you think that we're going to sit here and subscribe to this, we're not going to do this. And, you know, just how I'm going to believe that my brain works, because I'm just going to say there's no man that wiped you up or takes you seriously. So whatever you've been putting out there clearly have been sticking. Because if you had a husband and you could at least present some crazy guy that sit here and accept you and all this nonsense, at least we could say we understand that. But when you have nobody, you want to tell us all this nonsense. We're like, but nobody's taking it. Nobody's buying this nonsensical offer. And you don't, you never have, ladies, you never have to settle. But the funny thing is that nobody is buying it. So when we see you have no customers and you keep saying, I'm not selling for this, we're like, you're, if we told you rate yourself from one to 10, take away seven, fresh face, no makeup. We could say she's a strong three. And that's what makeup on. Because I can't see what I make up. So if makeup off is like two to three, she's not the type of woman that will sit here and be like, oh my God, she's appealing. She's attractive and stuff like that. Like I said, the other woman, she could have said, we could be like, oh, she's attractive. She could say what she's saying because she could finesse it because she's attractive. She could finesse it. This woman can't finesse it. We have to be realistic. You don't have that leverage. You are a strong three. The max you could ever reach is four, face-wise, four. But you are a strong three. And that's what makeup on. So we don't know what happens when the makeup come off because we haven't seen you with our makeup. But 
it's crazy how you want to humble guys and talk about your standards like nobody's buying into it you don't have a man you don't have a husband nobody's sticking around and you're telling women i know this but you don't have this you don't have this you talk about da da da, but you don't have the man that you speak about so how do we believe what you're saying that's all i want to know we can't believe it like we it gotta make sense it gotta make sense yeah, uh, a five is strong. I ain't gonna lie. You give her, you a nice, you a nice person, PG. But you a nice, you you a nice person, PG. I, I, a, a strong three, a strong three with makeup on. I don't know what she look like. I makeup, so I can't speak on that. But with makeup on, that's a strong three. Ain't no man waking up to that, and it's like, yeah, I got me one. Like that's just, I'm just here. Hopefully, the body is banging. Like you'd be like, damn, the body offset the face, but. 10 out of 10, it doesn't. 10 out of 10, it doesn't. I promise you. I'm going to post a $50 date. 